Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you put some emotion? Emotion? I haven't <laughs> felt that shit since I was like 15. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. We're tired, as you can tell. We're fucking tired. <laughs> we decided to bring a story time on George's last night visiting here. How did this happen, you may ask? We were talking about the first time we moved here. The scariest night. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, head. shit. That was terrible. We had no power. We had no toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you saying that reminds me of what happened. You're going to touch on that, right? Of course. It's part of the story. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, guys. So, you know, uh, like many of you do know, uh, we moved out here. Or, well, I say we because I practically live here. Um, but uh, we moved out here, what? Six. Uh, going on six? Still going on six on Easter. Going on six years ago. When we first moved here... Technically, we were the first two to live on this land. Yeah, so we cleaned. We were cleaning it. We were, you know, taking care of it. The trailer was, had just come in. Like, it wasn't fully installed yet. Like, it was still on the wheels. Or, yeah, the wheels or tires, whatever the fuck. No, they had actually put it on the blocks. They hadn't tied oh, it they, down. They hadn't tied it down. Yeah, they yeah, hadn't yeah, tied yeah, it down. Yeah. Which was, was another danger if you stop to think about it. Yeah. Because we were both <laughs> sleeping in this exact fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh that day i decided that we well, want should we tell them why we stay here and the others didn't wasn't it just because we wanted to stay no remember the the following day the electrician was going to come in and connect the light post oh yeah yeah and he so that someone to dad be wanted here. us to stay here because he someone to be here to he, wanted, to he was going to come early which fucker even fucker he didn't come until one early my ass <laughs> so you know it, that the old man approaches us and he's like, "Well, can you guys stay?" I could because I I wasn't working at the time. One of the worst fucking decisions. Ever. We didn't know that fool. Let's be honest. We were just thrilled at the fact they were leaving us here alone. I mean, they left us food so we can cook. Though that's that is the best meal I've had here, fool. And so we cooked over an open fire. It was awesome. Like okay, so in the evening we were good. We were fine. It was all fun and games. Ha ha he he. Starting a bonfire, you know, just chilling. Making dinner, just you know, we were gonna spend the night outside. Yeah, like literally up all night, just fucking, cause we had a like we had just knocked down some fucking pine trees. Trunks were like that thick, and we had a fuckload of them, so we were just gonna add on to the fire. And the neighbor had him. some that he didn't want in his yard, and so he he like he said, if you want, you can just come get them. Yeah, so safe to say we never want to go get them. You'll see why. Um. So, you know, dinner time, we were good. Starts getting dark. We're like, okay, it's fine. It's not that bad. 10 o'clock, we were still good. We were goofing around. We were just, you know, drinking back sodas. Just talking about the good old days. 11 o'clock, nothing to report. 12 o'clock. Starts getting a little weird. It started getting... It started with the fog. Do you remember the fog? It came, it came out, out of nowhere. nowhere. Bro, like, it, like, we were just talking... Literally two minutes later, just Silent Hill. Imagine Silent Hill. No, we had. The only number we had was this one, right? Yeah, Maria. Maria. Yeah, because they were barely building. No one was here. And the, the, the one in front was literally a fucking forest. Cause they just started building right here in front of us, like, not even a year ago. And those right here next to them were, like, barely putting up the fence, remember? No, no, they just put up the fence. Uh... Um, it was still a little trailer, but I mean, technically it's still a trailer, but they added to it. Now it looks like a house, but it was still just like a yeah, little Yeah, and there was nobody living there yet. So, like I said, 12 o'clock, it's like, what the fuck, dude? It just got foggy it, it got out of nowhere. It got foggy as shit and cold. Yeah. For like, in April, it shouldn't be that cold, and it was cold. So we were like, okay, no no biggie, you know, we're out in the woods. It's it, It's normal. It's yeah. normal. Little did we know. Fuck yeah, dude. For some weird reason, if y'all don't know uh, who this is, it's a very, it was, he's a famous comedian, kind of, oh. Facundo. Oh, um, Facundo, he's a, show he's host. a talk show host. Uh, if I can find the video and be able to download it, I'll play it right now. But. Yeah, you really want to do it? 
I'll look it up in the morning. I'm not fucking doing it at night. You got me fucked up. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> anyway. We'll, 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 we'll touch this. Like, just keep telling the story, yeah. and then when the time comes, we'll tell what happened. Okay, we'll so we started talking about that video. He's talking. He's just, guys going to show you up, but. We started to. Why did we start talking about I don't the video? Know. I don't know. It was just like. Oh, no, because I was like, hey, dude, it's starting to get a little Silent Hill around here. And you were like, yeah, dude. And then for some reason, we just started about we started paranormal. Talk, we started talking about, like, uh, Mexican boogeyman tales, like the Cucuy, El Hombre del Costal, Costa, La Llorona. Like, any Mexican folk tale that has to do with horror, we started talking Brujas, about. Brujas. Lechuzas. Uh, lechuzas. Uh, which was probably bad idea. In hindsight, it's a very like, fucking, fucking idea. bad idea. When this, all that shit came up, like everything came up. Yeah. But one o'clock. Duendes are goblins, in case you didn't know. Yeah, but one o'clock. I want to say about one o'clock. Ah, right? later. It was later. For okay, it was probably about. Like two, two thirty. Two thirty ish. Like by the time we got to the it was about two, two thirty ish. Yeah. Because we were just talking back and forth, blah, blah, blah. The thing that alerted me, guys, was the fact that the dog started barking. The dogs, they didn't just start barking, they started howling for like a. Death was nearby. Because, you know, like, you think, uh, I think it's true that whenever a shitload of dogs start howling for no reason, that means death is nearby. Like, I don't know if it's just like a Mexican thing. I grew up believing that. I don't know if it's like a universal thing or a Mexican thing. I honestly do not know. You guys know. let us know. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, started the hearing dogs, dogs howling. And then the horses then the doing. Hor that's what freaked me out. For yeah, the, the horses. fucking horses. That's what freaked me out. And up to that point, we were still like, okay, fuck it, they're animals, it, it happens. They send something we don't. Yeah, it happens, like, whatever. Then we heard it. Oh, fuck, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to, I'm getting, I don't, I'm I don't getting fucking, fucking think about I'm it. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't want to fucking think about it. We started hearing a child crying. And and don't get us wrong, it wasn't a baby, it wasn't it, it an wasn't, infant. It was like... A young child, like a not not a toddler, not it's about, like more than a toddler, but less, but before hitting preteens, like a seven or eight year old. Bro, I got chills down my spine whenever I'm getting chills down my spine and, right and now. And it wasn't so. like a muffled cry that like she no, was it, off it, in the it, distance or yeah, no, it know? was. I want to say at least fifty to a hundred feet. Like we can clearly hear it. And I had the stupid fucking idea of mentioning that video that I'm about to play right now. Basically, Facundo is a Mexican TV show host, and for a while he would do paranormal activity uh -huh, shit, shit for his show. And in one of the, like the most infamous, famous, whatever you want to call it, video he made. Con Carlos Trejo. Con Car it was Carlos Trejo, yeah. right? Yeah. El vato de cañitas. Yeah. He goes to a fucking cemetery. He hears a little girl crying at a fucking grave. I, bro, I'm literally getting fucking... fucking I'm getting <laughs> chills telling the story, fool. Right, he literally asks her in Spanish, Little girl, are you okay? This bitch turns. Her eyes are glowing with the like like a demon. And he starts getting scared. Like he, I'm pretty sure he was playing a character in the video itself, but he breaks character and starts screaming. He starts, like, cussing everyone out. Wait. I decided to fucking mention that. And that shit got to us. No way. But the thing about the video, guys, is that... Two he... big, burly Mexicans are scared of that. But the thing about the video, guys, once y'all see it, y'all understand. But the video, she answers him so... Like, you can hear her you saying, can, you can... talking to the grave... Yeah. And crying for her mom or whatever she's crying for. Like, like, you can't clearly hear what she's saying, but you can tell, like, she's communicating. Mm -hmm. Once he asks her how she is, her voice turns demonic and she looks at him. Fuck! So I'm picturing it. I don't want the picture. Shut the it. fuck up! You, you're not the one that has to watch the fucking video and post, okay? Fuck you! You have no idea how fast <laughs> we got up from our spots. Literally ran in the trailer, put a mattress in front of the front door. Like that was going to do anything. Because <laughs> we already had things in here. Hefa had already moved some things in here. We like put, most of the furniture was already here. Like I think all they had to move was like uh, like clothes and boxes. Cause we had all the furniture. We had all the beds. Um, 
some like some boxes of like clothing and shit like in case we decided to take a shower like a rancho style like just fucking full of bucket of water heat it up and like that but yeah we had we, our fucking stupid asses decided to put a mattress in front of the door which wasn't even a door yet it was literally like it didn't have the doors weren't installed and yeah, we put it, one it, it on was, the window. It was just a fucking frame. And then I got so fucking paranoid. There's a vent right here. I decided to put a fucking mattress on top of the vent. Like, that's how fucking scared I was, fool. <laughs> we literally slept in a corner. I could not sleep that night. It took a <laughs> long time for me to sleep. I was paranoid. I wasn't even high. Dude, we were fucking praying that night. I wasn't praying. I was. I had accepted the fact that I was going <laughs> to die that night. So the next morning, our parents come here. And they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, they come home. And my parents get home and they see that we're barricaded in my fucking room. Wondering what the hell is going on. We tell, like, I told my mom. That we heard someone crying, and she instantly knew what the fuck I was talking about. She she decided to bring up that fucking video. And, and I think what made it worse is the fact that we saw the video while we were in here. <laughs> Which I don't know what the I don't know why the fuck we decided to watch the video. We're stupid. Not only that, a couple what was like a couple weeks later. Before they built the Valero, remember? Mom also saw... Oh, no, the, the, the Valero was built, like, a year or two after we got here, fool. There huh. was nothing up there. No, but remember, before that, Mom oh. was... Yeah. Yeah. A couple weeks after that happened to us... Uh, my parents were still going to church in Houston, and the the curb where my where my job is, it used to be, like, a, a, not even an open field. It was, like, like, forest. Like, it was trees. And on that curb... My mom saw what she claims to be a duende, which is a goblin. Now, it's a coin toss with them because some of them can be like mischievous but friendly, and some of them can be fucking evil. And you really can't tell unless you come in contact with one, mm -hmm. right? You won't know until they do something. Yeah, you won't know until. I do know, or I don't know if I ended up telling you that Mario came in contact with one. I mean, like oh, he his his, his horse. Like, remember how he used to have a horse before yeah. he has that fucking little retarded horse. <laughs> like he has a pony for his grandson, which we think it's for his grandson because he got it at the same time he was born. But uh, he used to have a horse. Like that horse was fucking beautiful. Fool. We ended up telling, I forget if it was Mario or Adrian, mm -hmm. um, that story. And then Mario ended up telling us that. A fucking duende was riding his horse. Because, like, when he saw the horse acting all... Like, it was acting crazy. He went back there and he saw, like, little... Like, you know when you hit a horse, like, on the sides, You mm -hmm. can see, like, the full little marquitos, yeah. He saw, like, tiny ones, fool. I'm like, there's some shit going on here. Well, the myth is that they live in woods and forests. And let's be honest, fool. We, we live in the fucking ass end of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And we're pretty much stomping on their domain. Yeah. But, no, it's up to you guys if you want to believe us. But we know what we heard that night. We know what my mom saw. We know what Mario claims to see. They're and there. the old man saw it, too, one time. One time yeah. he saw the eyes. They're there, fool. They're fucking there. I know many people are like, well, that's not real. It's all your imagination. Cabrones, when y'all go through that situation... Their, your imagination does te vas a, una, te vas a Dos, le vas a pedir a Dios you're gonna be like those fuckers are right you're gonna remember this video and be like shit those two crazy Mexicans are, are, they were right and we would have had something else for you pero no quiso ir este puñeta okay. la bruja que se estaba riendo en la casa de Ali wey. ¿Cuál bruja wey? Oh, no, fuck that shit. No. Oh, yeah. I, no, fuck that shit. I remember. Might as well touch it. I wasn't there when it happened. You were. You tell the story. I wasn't there. Alison told me. Okay, well. So, our sister. I don't know the whole story. So, you tell so the story. So, Alison, uh, our sister, she and her husband uh, want to live out here. With, with, like, uh, not in the same neighborhood, neighborhood but, but in, like, the same area. They, which, again, they have to clean their thing out. They're doing that, whatever. So, they come over here. And Ali and Hefa were talking, and I go over there and talk to them. And the story comes up, fool. And she told Hefa and me that 
when they were cleaning their, 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 um, their terreno, wey, they heard somebody laughing. Who the fuck is going to be out there at nighttime just fucking laughing their ass off? <laughs> so, my bright idea was, you know what? We're just starting off in the channel. We got so many things going on it here. It was whenever we started, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. We had so many things going on. I told this puñeta, I was like, wait, vamos a grabar, güey. Fuck it. Nos subimos al carro, güey. O nos llevamos mi camioneta. No. And we'll go record it. And if something does happen, we'll just get the fuck out of there. <laughs> no. He was no. like, no, no, no. I was like, come on, man, let's do it. Fuck it. No, because we end up becoming the Blair Witch victims or one of us gets possessed. <laughs> I still think it would have been a good idea. I do see it from his point of view, though, because, I mean, who knows what the fuck would have happened to us. You end up finding us skin and shit <laughs> with our fucking balls hanging out of a tree or some shit. Nah, I'm good. Fuck that but, shit. But, yeah, that was, that was something else. And Like, even though that was a night full of terror, then something funny <laughs> did happen. I pranked the shit out of you. Fuck you. Uh, do you want to tell her or should I? You tell it. Okay, well, we didn't have running water, so if Mother Nature called, we had to go use, like, back there. <laughs> and we're so retarded that George decided to tie, like, one of those thick-ass waterproof matches to a stick using a plastic bag. I didn't want to tell him the flaw in his plan, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> By the time he got back there with his makeshift torch that sucked ass, the plastic started melting. <laughs> and from the distance, I could just see like a flame and just... <laughs> I just saw it and I'm like, oh, this is the perfect time to fuck with him. So I got a rock. From far away, I... <laughs> from far away, I threw it. <laughs> fuck you. Hold on. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> fuck you. Before I threw it, like, before I threw it, I'm like, are you going to shit right there? <laughs> and, for, and he's like, fuck off! <laughs> and then the fucking match falls. And I'm like, okay, I can't miss this opportunity. So I throw a fucking rock. <laughs> and I pretend like I'm, like, looking at the fire or something. And I just hear behind me, did you throw something? <laughs> and I pretend to turn. I'm like, no, I'm looking at the fire. I have never heard you zip your pants up and come towards me so quick. It's like, man, there's something going on back there. So then we sit down. We start feeding the fire more logs. I'm like, hey, fool, can I tell you something? What? I'm the one that threw that rock. <laughs> he gets so fucking mad. <laughs> what did you say, fool? You motherfucker. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I've heard of scaring the shit out of someone, but I've never scared the shit into someone. <laughs> like, for three days, I couldn't take a shit. Wasn't that when you took the big black shit? For three days, I We stayed here the whole weekend. Oh, we, my uh, God. That, that was Friday night, oh, Saturday shit. morning, Sunday morning. All Sunday, we stayed here, and I refused to take a shit. I don't want to laugh no more. I don't want to do that fucking T-Rex laugh that Jacob says I do. And then oh I finally God. installed the toilet. First thing I do is go in there and take a shit. That shit was black. Shut the fuck up. I can feel it coming in the lock. El chorro negro. Shut up. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this was supposed to be a fucking horror story. It ended up into me turning into the fucking T-Rex from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not lying, but I'm seeing stars and shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Keep on doing what you... <laughs> let, me... <laughs> let me give me some my composure for me, because... Oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh shit! I, I, I completely forgot what we were talking about. My black shit. Ah yeah, the chorro negro. Oh my god, fool. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm lightheaded as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, continue from there. So, I'm telling you guys, oh, for three shit. days, I refused to use the fucking restroom. They finally installed the toilet here. I finally use it. He was the first one to take a shit in this house. Man, that was priceless. Oh, my God, fool. But yeah, that is our... <laughs> that is the story of our first day, our first night, or our first weekend here. Oh my god, that that's the scariest slash funniest slash what the fuck oh, just happened. Moments in our lives, dude. That's easily like that night is easily in the top three scariest nights of my life, bro. Hands down. Yeah, there's no. It might be number one. Like, <coughs> if I had to reevaluate the scariest shit I've been involved or I've, I've witnessed, that has to be number one. But mostly yeah. because we had no idea where it was coming from. No, we just like I said, we just fucking heard crying, and like you know, whenever you can like hear sound, like if you turn your head, you can hear it like more with one ear than the other. This thing was coming from all. It's coming from all over. Like you turn your head, and you could still hear it like equally. That was scary as fuck. For all we know, the Facunda girl was with us that night, or whatever that was. Whatever the fuck it was, yeah. Fuck that shit. Never again. But like, we were so scared that we left the bonfire going. It was still going when we woke up the next morning. Mm -hmm. Like, it was still roaring, like a roaring fire because those fucking logs were huge. So, yeah, we, the next morning, we put it all back together and started cooking again breakfast. As if nothing happened. I, I don't mean, think that we, was after they got here. And shit. I don't think we stayed out there that night, do we? At night? Yeah. I think we got in as soon as it got dark. Bro. Yeah, we we came back in here. Like, as soon as it started getting dark, we were like... like we were having man. Vietnam flashbacks of that shit. Except that the, I think they stayed here, didn't they? Because we already had yeah, power. No, not, well, we, yeah, we had power, but... Um, yeah, that night was the only night we stayed alone. Like, we were, like I said, we were the first ones to stay in this, like, land, the house, whatever. But, like, the, the weekend, everyone stayed. But, yeah. Fuck that shit. I don't know why it happened to us. I was scared shitless. I'm not gonna lie. That was just weird, fool. Yeah. yeah, it was scary as fuck. Nah. All jokes aside, that shit was... That shit was, like, it... I, 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 was, I was legit getting chills just telling that story. Like, I, honestly, if they were to tell us, hey, would you guys do it again? Fuck no. Fuck no. 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 There's no... Unless there, like, if there's power in the house, there's running water, yeah, we'll stay. But if it's, like, straight up just caveman style, nah, no. I'm good, fool. No. <laughs> I'm good. No, we can't. Because we don't know what the fuck happened here a hundred years ago. For all we know, we're on a fucking Indian burial ground. No, thank you. So that that's it. That's that that story took a lot of uh, twists and turns. It was a roller coaster, wasn't it? Because it went from we us having a good time to us being scared shitless, like that. 
Yeah, like literally in an instant. Like it wasn't like a. It wasn't like a, like like when you're doing a like it's obviously I'd make this comparison, but like whenever you're doing some type of drug, it's like just then you peak and then you go down. No, it was just fun, we, fun, fun, din death, dinner. Just talking about what we were talking about. Me going to the restroom, you doing the prank. Me coming back from using the yeah. restroom. I was talking from, about from not using the restroom. No, because I did used to remember at the end. I had to. I like. I had to let it go, but I just peed. Oh, you peed? Okay. I peed. I didn't poo. I peed because <laughs> I couldn't hold it in anymore. But I didn't wander off that far in the second time. Yeah, because I peed. I remember peeing. I didn't poo. From that, from me coming back to you, to us talking about all this scary shit, to the dogs and horses, the little girl crying, to us running in here like a bunch of little bitches, and just coming to terms with her, now we were gonna die. Like, no, I didn't. I was over. I accepted the fact. I, I, like I said before, I know where I'm going when I die. I'm already at peace with it. I was not at peace with dying with by due to a fucking ghost. Like, first of all, how do you? How, how would you explain that to our parents? Like, sería la, sería la forma más puta de morir, güey. ¿Estás de acuerdo? ¿De qué murieron? Ah, güey. De un espanto. Pinche espanto. No seas mamón, güey. Güey, imagínate la cara de mi hija. ¿De qué murió tu papá? De un espanto. Pinche puto. Oh, my God. Murió abrazado de mi tío su... Güey, <risa> según dice que estaban llorando como putitas. ¿Cómo sabes? Tenían un chingo de lágrimas los cabrones. Un chingo de lágrimas y moncos. <risa> ah, pues qué putos. <risa> hey, try explaining that to the angels or to the demons whenever you die. How did you die? Oh, I got scared. <risa> What scared you? A little girl? Pussy. <risa> Now for that, you get more slaps than anyone. You get more fucking prayers. <coughs> Uh, yep, that's the story. That's that's the fucked up story. story. You don't, you don't like. You can choose to believe us. You don't. If you don't want to believe us, go ahead. Like we know what we saw. We know what we heard. Like we told, uh, we told her mom, and like she straight up believed us. Like she saw horror in our eyes. Like she knew we were not fucking around. Like we always joke with her, but she knew we were not fucking around. And the time. thing is, guys, if you know us, we've seen a lot of crazy, crazy shit. Especially yeah. when you were living in Chippewa. We saw that accident in the trailer up front. Oh, yeah. Um, we saw a lot of fucked yeah, up shit. Yeah. And through it all, we always... Like... We either made jokes about it or we kept our cool, whatever. Yeah. But this time around, we just fucking we lost, lost it. it. Yeah, yeah. We... That the, I, That's one of the few times I lost my composure. Not out of anger, but out of fear. I think that's the only time. Oh, holy shit. Like I said, that was a crazy ass night. And I have never experienced anything that scary. And since. I don't want to either. And yeah, you still want to go fucking find that lechuza in Mexico. Fuck that shit. Vas a decir que mi pensamiento es pendejo, güey. Pero yo siento que si if we do it in, in Mexico, me puedo comunicar mejor. No seas pendejo. No seas mamón, güey. ¿Sí me entiendes? Estás bien puñetas, güey. Pero tienes... Do you follow my train of thought, fool? Yes, yes, fool, but it's... That's the stupidest way. That's... That's... That fucking logic makes no sense. ¿Qué tal si la bruja no habla inglés, güey? ¿Y qué, güey? Por eso, si vamos a México, güey, tiene que ser por ciento mexicano. Por lo tanto, hablo español. ¿Sí me Igual te va a llevar la verga, pendejo. Pero le puedo explicar mi dilema, güey. O sea, si te tengo miedo, me estoy cagando terror. Pero, o sea, Pero dime qué quieres, pendejo. Ándale, hazme el paro y dime qué putas quieres. No, te voy a matar. Ok, pues, jálale. Tío, órale, chingón. Ya me cargó la verga. Ya me cagué, ya me mié, ya me... Ya. Ya llevan. Ya, ya. Chingue su madre. Aquí no, güey. ¿Qué tal si es Albania o no? No sé qué vergas de Rusia. Y la pendeja no habla ni inglés ni español, güey. ¿Cómo puta le explico yo, güey? Que lo que está oliendo son mis miados y mi cagada. 
<laughs> Why would there be a Russian ghost here? We don't know what happened 100 years ago. I'm pretty sure we would have noticed uh, like Russian activity going on in the middle of Texas. <laughs> you know how Texas are with spies and shit. <laughs> oh, wait. Digamos que era un fantasma de 100 years ago. Okay. Hey, well, uh, we uh, want to play Espanol, güey. Pero no sería el español que nosotros sabemos, cabrón. Okay, eso sí, güey. Igual, güey. Nos iba a llevar la verga esta noche, güey. Sí, no. Nos iba a llevar la chingada, güey. Nos iba a llevar lo que le gustaba a Juan Gabriel. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just cut it here for me, because I really don't want to do that T-Rex laugh again. <laughs> ya, vámonos. Acabó. Yeah, so, uh... We hope you fuckers enjoy this stupid ass story. Like, n not even Stephen King could come up with a story that fucked up. It and he's just, a great author. It was just fucking dramatic. I'm not going to lie. Not even a great fiction writer can come up with that. It was just, like, something we weren't expecting. Something we didn't want to happen, obviously. No. But. Fuck that shit. It happened to us, and. We dealt with it however we saw it accordingly, which apparently was... Like, bitches! <laughs> like, I, I, it's amazing how I can, like, go up against someone, like, what's up, fucker? Like, get into a fight with someone potentially bigger than me. But when it comes to something I, I physically can't fucking beat the shit out of, I crawl up into a little <laughs> ball like a roly-poly and just hope for the worst. <laughs> I think deep down we're all bitches. <laughs> we're all pussies. When it comes to that shit. I'm pretty sure the toughest Mexican around. Like, I say Mexican because, like, that shit is part. Like, Mexicans are really superstitious. Like, we really are. Because that shit is ingrained into our minds since I, childhood. I, I really much doubt you can go to Mexico, any state of Mexico, and not find some sort of folklore. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, because apparently uh, where I'm from, Tamaulipas, the local folklore is uh, poltergeist or um, uh, where ghosts or demons possess inanimate objects. And they, did, did they have I tell you about the doll? I think she told me once. In mine, it's uh, La Llorona, El Charro Negro, um, El Cucuy, which was honestly the most scariest one of all because you never knew what the fuck he looked like. Uh, el señor de Costal, obviously. Uh, el perro Chupacabra, negro. El perro negro, fool. I forgot about that el, one. El perro negro. Um, Why is there always something negro? El charro de negro. El perro negro. I'm pretty sure el hombre del Costal, that was a black sack. El jinete sin cabeza, güey. Yeah. Uh, the headless horseman. And then there's other like small myths. Like, yeah, there, there's more like local myths. Like right. la, la señora de blanco, la que se parece en las carreteras, güey. Um, I'm trying to think of more, fool. Like there's a lot. Like there's. there's hay un chingo, güey. Hay un chingo. Las yeah, brujas, chingo. los duendes, las lechuzas, las. Uh, como te dije, la llorona. Todo eso. El diablo, güey, que luego el según diablo, se aparece, güey. Sí, uh, la Santa Muerte. Do you consider the centenarios as part of that? Like, the, a centenario is basically a, a doubloon, right? Like a, a, like a, a, gold, coin. a gold coin. But um, the story goes that it's better to look for those at night because if you find them, there's like a green flame. T tell uh, me about that. Okay. I don't get that. All right. We're, we're going to... It might be a little longer than you... Actually, let's make another one. The second one? That's what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, man. okay. We'll end this one and we'll come back, guys.